All right, what's up you guys? So today's video is gonna be about what things I think are very, very important to take to the gym. So I'll start off by saying that I normally take a big bag if I'm driving in my car, but since I've been riding my bike, I put everything into a backpack. So actually this is gonna be, I wish I could take more stuff that sometimes I don't even use, but just in case, but this, since I have really limited space, I just put the essentials into this backpack. So I'm gonna show you guys everything I take. So the first thing that's gonna come out is my pre-workout drink. So here I'm taking pre-gym, pre-workout. So it just gives me a little bit of energy when I'm working out. So pre-workout right here for sure. Second thing is going to be a pair of sh um, shirts, but I'll show you guys that one is just on the way back from the ride. I want to dry one, but the important one I think is my squat shirt. Um, you don't really need a squat shirt, but this brand A7 makes um, shirts to squat in. It has like grip in the back, so whenever you set the bar to squat, it kind of just sticks into the to the grip part and it, it makes it prevents the bar from moving so I have this shirt here the next thing that's gonna come out is gonna be my knee sleeves so my knee sleeves of course they go here on your knees they they help keep your knees very warm during your whole workout um, you don't need them. You don't need them. I like them especially because I had knee surgery and once in a while my knee gets achy. So having these on just kind of gives you that little extra support. But even if you didn't have any knee surgery, if you want to get some knee sleeves, I definitely recommend them. It keeps your knees very tight during the, like any leg exercises. It keeps them warm. It makes you feel even safer. And sometimes it does help you kind of like um come out of the of the squat a little bit easier i mean it doesn't mean you throw these on and then you're just gonna squat 100 pounds more but i guess you could say it does kind of ease your squat so the brand is sbd you could find them on andersonspowerlifting.com these are the knee sleeves the next thing that's gonna come out out of here is weightlifting shoes. So these shoes are the Nike Romaleos 2. I use these to squat. So these shoes are different than a normal shoe because it has the heel. It has like a little heel that kind of gets you a little bit. It looks like this is your flat shoe. These heels kind of gets you like this. So it makes it actually easier to squat if you don't have that flexibility. So I like squatting in these because it allows me to actually focus more on pushing out of my quads. So it just makes the easy the squat easier for me. Um, most of the time I use them. I do sometimes like squatting in a flat shoe. So I kind of do change it up. But if you don't have that flexibility and your squat, you feel like it just doesn't feel right. Giving some weightlifting shoes a try could help. So these are it here. Last but not least in the big pocket is a weightlifting belt. Um, I mean, I do do a lot of um, squatting and deadlifting and I do pretty heavy weight, so I do need a very steady belt. So this belt um, is called Inzer belt. It's the 13 millimeter, it's, the, it's a thick one. It's just about a hundred bucks. Um, if you Google Inzer.com, it's an Inzer belt, lever belt. So. I use this belt for sure for my heavy lifts and I do recommend if you're going to be doing a lot of um, weightlifting, weight training to get a good lifting belt. If you get those from Big Five that are just like all wobbly, they're not going to get you that same support as these heavy duty belts. So we are going to go into this little pocket here. In this little pocket here, 
I have chalk. So the gym that I normally go to, you cannot use chalk. So I am very careful how I use my chalk. I make sure I don't make a mess. But they, there is liquid chalk, you know, that you just kind of like put it and you'll make a mess. But I got this chalk here. So the chalk is gonna help with your grip, especially when I'm like picking up weight from the floor that's very heavy, your hands get sweaty. So the chalk just pretty much dries up your hands. So you get a good grip and your hands will slip off the bar. So chalk right there. Next in the little pocket now, it's more like accessory stuff. I got a, a portable charger for my phone. Since I do record a lot, I try to get a portable charger, make sure my phone has battery. I have these balls here. So these balls are like a foam roller. You know, you go to the gym and there's a foam roller. I use these balls as my foam roller because I am riding my bike. I can't take my big portable, my, my foam roller, the big one. So I just use these little balls in case I have like, sometimes like I have an achy shoulder. I just roll on it on the floor. So this kind of like gives me a massage. So these are the balls for sure that I take. I take clamps, which are to put on the bar, make sure the, the weight doesn't come off. My gym sometimes doesn't even have clamps around, so I take mine right here. I have an, I, an, an iPod, in case um, I don't wanna use my phone. I have um, a lot of old music on here that I, I like a lot, so carry a little iPod. I carry my my, my lock for my bike, for the locker inside with the keys. And then extra headphones in case my beats die, since it does happen a lot that you don't charge your headphones. I have portable, the regular headphones to just clip on so I can make sure that I have my music and, and I get in my zone and whatever. And I have my beats. So these are wireless headphones. Man, I love wireless headphones. So these are old ones, but they're still wireless, still work, they're all taped up and everything. But if you work out with regular headphones, then you get wireless headphones, and then you go back to regular headphones, it just doesn't feel right, you just hate it. Wireless headphones for sure, and that's it. I got my chapstick. And that wraps up everything, guys. And in case um, you want to know where I purchased any of these items, I will link them in the description. All right, guys, so that pretty much wraps up the video. Hope you like it. Hope you find all these items kind of useful in case you decide that you want to purchase them for yourself. If you like the video, please press that like button at the bottom. If you haven't subscribed, please, please subscribe. I really appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.